back. In this video, we're going to look at setting up ProPresenter ready to receive MIDI coming from playback. So the first thing we need to do is go to ProPresenter Preferences and go to the Modules tab. Now at the bottom of the list of the available modules from ProPresenter is this really powerful module called MIDI. And this allows ProPresenter to receive incoming MIDI information. We need to purchase this module to be able to use MIDI inside of ProPresenter. However, if you want to demo this module, you can simply click Demo Modules and you'll have access to it, but it'll put a watermark on the screen. So it really is just for setting up and for demoing. Once we purchase or demo the module, we then have a communications tab appear. You need to click on communications and we need to click add device. We're gonna come down and select MIDI and now it's gonna give us a list of options that we can receive and send MIDI to and from. And you'll remember in our previous video together, we renamed the network session playback lyrics. So I'm gonna put a tick in playback lyrics as my incoming MIDI source. And I don't want to send MIDI out from ProPresenter for now. So I'm gonna click save. And I'm gonna click connect. And now I've got an established MIDI connection inside ProPresenter that's gonna receive MIDI coming in from playback lyrics. Now I just need to tell ProPresenter what every MIDI note translates to. So to do that, I'm gonna click MIDI setup. And in here, we can choose what every MIDI note does inside of ProPresenter. We can have a MIDI note for triggering slides. We can have a MIDI note for selecting a playlist. We can have a MIDI note for playing and pausing video and so on. If you're following our MIDI cues or our Ableton template that was previously available, you can simply come up to the autofill, type in zero, press autofill, and it will pre-configure ProPresenter ready to receive that existing MIDI information. If you have your own setup or your own list of MIDI commands, then you will simply type in into these boxes the notes and the values that you want ProPresenter to work with. Then you click OK, and now you're ready to set up your playlist and format your slides. Now you're looking at Living Hope. This is the typical arrangement that we have and the way that we format our slides. We always start with a blank slide, which we load the motion for the song into. So that when a song loads, it first loads the motion that we need for the song or the background image. And then we progress through the timeline of the song, typically at two lines per slide. We load in a change of motion at a significant point of the song where we want the motion to change. And we always end with a blank slide so that if we need to clear the words, we can simply have ProPresenter jump to that blank slide at any interlude or moment during the song. There's a couple of other things that we change. We also change the image transition to dissolve in about three seconds. So that here, if I change the motion, you'll see that rather than jumping aggressively between the background image, it'll have this dissolve and fade between the two. And we've also found that if we set the lyrics to dissolve at about 0.2 to 0.4, we get a fairly nice fade between the lyrics that isn't too quick, that it feels overly aggressive, but it, neither does it leave ghosting on the screen of the previous lyrics. So that kind of works nicely for us. And then you just need to decide whether you're going to have a master playlist of all of your songs or whether you're going to set up a set list per service. And you can do either. Here's my master playlist of every song that I've got formatted ready for MIDI notes to control and I always leave these in exactly the same order and I tell playback to go to song 92, 93, 94, 95 or if I'm doing a dedicated playlist I'll set up a playlist for that Sunday and then I'll tell playback to go to song 1, song 2, song 3 and then progress through the timeline. So that's how to set up ProPresenter with your slides and also to tell it which incoming MIDI information is going to correspond to which commands.